What is up witches and wizards, muggles and no matches, I'm Animagus and today I want to go over all of the details for the next brilliant event happening in Wizards Unite starting actually Thursday uh, this week coming up and we'll be going till the next Thursday. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into all the details. I know you want to know the quest steps. I know you want to know all the details about the quest steps. So all of that stuff will be covered starting right now. As you look at these quest steps, you'll notice that there is a theme. There are a lot of potions and there's a lot of focus on potions. Not necessarily just because it is February, the month of love and the love potion, but we also in the second part of this brilliant event will be seeing a lot of the Prince of Potions himself. Professor Snape will actually be featured in that event. So I think that we're seeing a lot of potions for a lot of different reasons, but I want to go ahead and jump into those quest steps and start talking about all the details with you right now. So of course, when we look at quest step number one, and of course, as per usual, huge shout out to Orange Wizard for the graphics. His Instagram link is down below. You can check that out. The first step will be two uh, pick up two strong extimulo potion ingredients. Now I'll go over those at the end because there are other potion ingredients that you have to pick up for as well. Dine at three ends and return five brilliant self-playing hearts. After you get that, you'll get 50 family uh, XP for the brilliant family event. Then you'll get 150 wizarding XP and then your bonus rewards will be two restricted section books, 150 base XP, four snowdrops, uh, two Abraxan hair, and then one of the powdered dragon claw. For the second quest step of this particular event, you will have to then use those strong extimulo potions three times, pick up two chonic for trace detection ingredients, and return five high threat foundables. Once you complete that, you'll be getting 400 wizard XP and then two of the erumpent horn ingredients, which will go, of course, towards that tonic of trace detection. Your bonus rewards will be 100 wizarding XP, 45 extra brilliant family XP, three restricted section books, a horn bill, which will be the first foundable on the event page that you'll be able to put uh, down, and then six of the baneberry ingredients. After step two, of course, we go on to step three, and we see that we will be using Tonic for Trace Detection two times. Pick up three Barufios Brain Elixir ingredients and return seven Brilliant Minerva McGonagall. Those rewards are 750 Wizarding XP and one Hermit Crab Shell ingredient. Then, of course, the bonus rewards, 50 Family XP, five Restricted Section Books, one Silver Key, one uh, strong extimulo potion, uh, potion, sorry, and then a brilliant frame for you as well. So as you can see, there's sort of a pattern. You have to pick up these specific types of ingredients, and then in the next step, you have to use those ingredients, which is very intuitive. It makes sense. I love that the tasks have started to have synergy to them. It makes sense for you to progress through these quests because step two helps out step three and so on and so forth. So for the fourth and final step of this quest, you will have to use Barufio's Brain Elixir two times for one silver key, walk three kilometers for 55 Brilliant Family XP, and unlock five Porky Portmanteau for three red spell books. After you complete step four, your bonus rewards will be 1,000 Wizarding XP, 50 gold pieces, five restricted section books, one Brilliant Hogwarts Crest Foundable, and another frame for your portraits. Now, just like all of the brilliant events in months past, we have another bonus assignment with this once you complete step four. So I'm gonna go over those details now as well. As you can see on the screen, you have to return 15 high threat foundables for a strong extimulo potion, return 30 brilliant foundables for a butterscotch ingredient, brew 12 potions for another frame that you can get for your portrait that is like Luna Lovegood themed, which is really cool. It's got the Spectre specs on the bottom there, and then use 15 potions for two dark detectors. Those bonus rewards will be an additional 2,000 wizarding XP, 100 brilliant family XP, three red spell books, and a really cool title that I am looking up right now. The title is Concoction Connoisseur, which is super cool. I love that alliteration. So those are the quest steps for this particular event. Now I know that you're thinking like, okay, fine, that's all good and well, but like, what about these potion ingredients? How am I supposed to find them? How am I supposed to know where they are? Well, there's kind of a double-edged sword here with that particular event. So I'm thinking that, um, 
it's either going to go really well or really bad because what's going to happen is every spawn for ingredients is going to be completely pulled off of the map except for those three potions. So the strong extimulo uh, potion ingredients, the tonic for trace detection ingredients, and the barufios ingredients are going to be the only things that you see spawning on the maps. Now you might also be wondering like, okay, well what are those ingredients? I don't have these things memorized. Well no worries because Orange Wizard has your back and I've got your back right here with this image so we're going to look at those right now. For strong extimulo, you're looking for bitterroot, snowdrop, rainblood, and then abraxan hair. For tonic for trace detection, you're going to look for baneberry, bulbadox juice, the angel's trumpet, and the arumpent horn. And then for barufio's brain elixir, you're going to be looking for the leaping toadstool, frog brain, rune spore eggs, and powdered dragon claw. So these are all going to be spawning on the map. As far as I am aware, that's what I have been told. So those spawns will be increased and there will be no other potion ingredients uh, laying around on the map. So no hermit crab shells, there won't be any butterscotch, there won't be any sapophorus beans, nothing of that nature will be spawning. Only the ingredients for these three potions for this particular quest. So I can't actually believe that I almost forgot this, but there is a new mechanic in the game. It is a really cool one, and it comes when you place those images in the Brilliant Registry. So I do want to interrupt the video really quick and tell you about those while we're still talking about the potions. When you put down the Minerva McGonagall image on your registry page, it will actually increase the number of traces revealed by Tonic for Trace Detection from 10 traces to 15 traces in half an hour for the period that that potion is active. For the Order of Merlin image, when you walk off those port keys and you put those down, it actually increases the XP multiplier on Barufio's Brain Elixir from 2 to 2.5 times. So that's a significant boost in XP once you place those port key images. And then finally, and last but not least, when you place the photograph of Dougal McGregor, which you can actually find in Fortresses, this brilliant event, then it increases the amount of spell casts for one strong extimulo potion from four casts to six casts. So I did want to go ahead and make you guys aware of that. Last night I completely forgot to cover it, but it's in there now. So back to the rest of the video. So my question to you is, does this hurt you or does this help you? Uh, because I know that a lot of people use these hermit crab shells. Uh, I know a lot of people use butterscotch ingredients and I know a lot of people will be needing their invigoration drafts this week and they will be needing uh, the strong invigoration drafts and the dawdle drafts and stuff like that. So I'm interested to see how that impacts your gameplay and if that bothers you and if that hurts your gameplay or if this particular quest step actually helps you because you need more Barufio's ingredients or you need more tonic ingredients so let me know down below in the comments section because i am really interested to hear your feedback and of course the wizards unite team is always really interested to hear your feedback as well so we can continue to improve the game together as a community now of course i do want to remember the store packs there are always store packs with these events and that image exists and it's right here too so again big shout out to orange for those but the free store pack is going to have one silver key and 25 spell energy as is customary that's nothing nothing crazy or new uh, but again free energy free key who's gonna hate that you know uh, the premium store pack has seven tonic for trace detection and 100 spell energy and that is 450 gold that's actually not a bad deal at all if you have the coin laying around and you've been waiting for for something and you have a, a hard time finding those potion ingredients maybe after this week you'll be able to stockpile even more that's not too bad of a deal and then, of course, there's another premium store pack with 10 keys and 5 Barufia's Brain Elixirs for 1,000 gold. And that's actually even crazier because of the keys and the price alone for that. And the Barufia's are amazing as well. And then after you get all of the quest steps completed and done, you get a bonus assignment. There's a bonus uh, store pack that you can get. And it has 12 Dark Detectors, 15 Strong Stimulo Potions, 12 Tonic for Trace Detection, and 150 Energy. And that's 2,100 gold. So... I probably won't have the time to crunch the math on this, but if somebody wants to let me know down below in the comment section if that's, you know, affordable, if that's reasonable, and if that actually works out for the better, definitely, again, let me know down below. Now, there are a couple of miscellaneous things that I do want to cover in this. For example, the new port key. This is very exciting. I'm really interested in this because of Valentine's Day and because of the theme of Harry Potter and what we see uh, just going forward in the series is really cool. There is actually a new 
port key location and it's going to be Madame Puttyfoot's tea shop which is going to be really cool so I can't wait to see some of the videos that will come out I know James over at Wizards News will probably do like a 3D exploration with a ladder and all this other crazy stuff so definitely go over there and check that out if he does something like that it's really cool and I always enjoy those videos but I'm excited to explore this myself I love the new port key location uh, I, I remember I did a video forever ago that was like 50 port key locations that need to exist in the game so we get to keep seeing some of those and it's really exciting to see all of those so I'm very very excited for this event uh, let me know if I've missed something or if you see a quest step that's different so we can go ahead and get that corrected and I'll be able to pin that uh, in the comment section below but also let me know how you guys feel about this event do you guys like this event do you guys have a problem with the ingredients do you think that this is better do you like these quest steps just let me know your thoughts in general again down below uh, as always guys thank you so much for watching this video we actually hit a big goal of mine which is a hundred dollars a month in a patreon support so thank you so much to my patrons you can see their names on the screen here I couldn't really do a lot of what I do without them I, I get to pay for gas and I get to do things that uh, we're gonna be looking forward to on the channel like giveaways I have a giveaway coming up because we hit that goal I'll be announcing to give you a giveaway and we've got some pretty cool stuff to, to put in that so make sure you are subscribed to the channel channel and if you haven't already and you got some value out of this video make sure you leave a thumbs up down below as well as clicking that red subscribe button and ringing that notification bell so you are made aware the next time I produce a piece of Harry Potter content guys thank you again so much for the video I've got a bunch of links down below join a discord get involved in the community if you haven't already the infographics are always out there floating around so make sure you get involved and plugged in somewhere I can't wait for this event and I can't wait to see what you guys think of it as well I'll see you guys in the next video peace